Buranjor. In the history of the natural world to the supernatural, I found many weird things. But just because I don't know what it is doesn't make it supernatural. While the true heart of science is to always question even yourself. In the end, I have become an objective atheist. I am an atheist, but I want there to be more. The Brunjor is an Australian dinosaur cryptid that resembles the theropod dinosaur, the T-Rex. Or maybe a megaraptoid like Australevenator, Megaraptor, or Raptor. But it could also be a dinosaur that we do not know from the fossil record. The Brunjor is described as being a giant lizard. According to the Aboriginal mythology, based on sightings, it is 25 feet long and has small clawed hands and walks on two bipedial legs. Though the 1950s, Australian cattle ranchers have reported a large creature leaving bipedial tracks was eating their livestock. Also, earlier Aboriginal accounts suggest that it is a reptile, possibly with feathers, that ate kangaroos and other large animals. If it weren't for the bipedial footprint sighting, Sabaranjor could also be Megalania a prehistoric giant monitor lizard that lived in the area more than more recently based on the aboriginal de descriptions known as Beringor, a mere mention of his name is often guaranteed to send a shiver down the spine of any aboriginal yet it is not only aboriginals who claim to have seen these monsters but also many european stockmen residents of remote cattle stations and four-wheel drive travelers Runger can best be described as a huge bipedial walking reptilian monster. Tyrannosaurus comes to mind, although some suggest a species of iguanodon due to the description of long arms. Whatever Burunjor is, it leaves huge three-toed tracks behind it wherever it strides. This is significant because there have been suggestions that the Burunjor could be based upon the extinct giant Australian monitor lizard, which it reached 30 feet which reached up to 30 feet and which was almost the height reached by the Perunjor claimed to be seen by both the Aboriginals and the Europeans. Aboriginal rock art showing a bipedial creature with pointed tail, small arms and a huge mouth is seen around the land. The vast expanses of central Australia's deep outback where torrentous rock formations point skyward, mystical ancient forests contain living fossil plants and parched desert scrub growing alongside weird salty lake bottoms offers a frontier of largely unexplored wilderness. But this land of many mysteries comes from most eerie and incredible claims. Reports going back to the Aboriginal legends that mirror strange sightings by generations of European settlers and even the occasional stories of close encounters by recent travelers. Stories of a living theropod creature like the Tyrannosaurus rex. Aboriginal tribal people tell tales of the Brinjor, the huge reptilian nocturnal creature that has devoured cattle, camels, and kangaroos. Ancient Aboriginal artwork displays a three-toed bipedial form with small front legs and a huge mouth. Clearly, this is something different from their easily distinguished kangaroo artwork. Even still today, the Aboriginal people will fearfully avoid certain locales in which this creature allegedly was seen, and they will abandon areas for some time if tracks of the creature show up. These same telltale tridactyl prints have earned the monster the nickname Old Three Toes by locals to the east. In the state of Victoria, indigenous people called this same ferocious theropod the Murray Murray. Numerous sightings of the Berenjors footprints have now been logged across the outback. Pictures and casts show a consistent bipedial track with three huge toes between two to three feet in diameter, alongside watering holes, alongside riverbanks, and even in the dirt roads. The monster's footprints have been a reason for alarm. According to testimonials, cowmen came across these monsters' tracks in the process of investigating missing livestock. The Brunjor has a penchant for grabbing cows and carrying them off. Rex Gilroy, 2013's book of Beringor, The Search for Australians Living Tyrannosaurus, lists several such scenarios where cows, 
sometimes several in a single kill site, were found bitten in half and large bones were broken by massive jaws. The area around these kill sites was covered with massive tridactyl reptilian footprints. Recent sightings of the creature is responsible for the massive prints and bovine butchery have been more rare. Runjors have been seen at night by truckers driving from Stewart Highway, which traverses long and lonely sections of the continents deep under. A team associated with Sci-Fi Channel's Destination Truth conducted a Barunjor investigation in 2007 that focused on the Northwest. In 2015, Genesis Park staff traversed the outback from the south, traversing the Stewart Highway from Aladane up towards Alice Springs. The team kept busy hiking deep into the Flinder Mountains and camping in the bush, interviewing eyewitnesses, including park rangers, cattle station operators, aboriginals, and truckers, conducting nocturnal vigils, and searching promising areas for footprints. Not a single report of a creature fitting the Aburunjor description was received. The area is inhabited by a large monitor lizard, or goanna, called the Parenti. One Flinders Rangers claim Parentines can grow to 10 feet in length. He observes such an oversized herp swallow a young goat whole and then roar up on its hind legs. Could some of the alleged nocturnal Barunjor sightings possibly involve a parotene instead? At any rate, the Barunjor creature does seem to be known in the lower outback, and follow-up research might be more productive if focused in the area you've not covered up north. Main thing I've always dealt in this though is our insane desire to ignore what the natives have said in their own areas. I believe they're almost always gonna be right about what they say they've seen. The problem we have is our ability to communicate with them at times and understand truly what they're seeing. They know when they're talking spirit, they know when they're not. We need to understand that better and then put more credit to the experts that live in the land and see what they know. You may find some amazing secrets. Thank you.